Hello, I'm Adam, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot retry and timeout issues when invoking an AWS Lambda function using an AWS SDK. Let's get started. For the following examples, I will be using the Python Botacore SDK. The first way we can troubleshoot these issues is with Amazon CloudWatch logs, but we must add logging to the Lambda function. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Lambda function in the Lambda console. Now let's configure logging in our function by adding some print statements around our API calls. These calls will give us some information about the response as shown here. Now invoke your function to generate some CloudWatch logs. After you generate some logs, navigate to the CloudWatch console. Select Log Groups, search for the log group of the Lambda function and then select it. Choose the most recent log stream. Now you can see the logs generated after you invoke the function. This function generates the error connect timeout on endpoint URL. This error tells you that the API call failed to establish a connection. This is the error given by the Python runtime. However, for other runtimes, you may see a different error message, such as socket timed out without establishing a connection. You might also see a task timed out error in your logs. This error occurs when the Lambda function timeout value is configured to be lower than the SDK connection timeout value. With this configuration, the Lambda function will time out before the program reaches the SDK's connection timeout. As a result, the socket timeout won't appear in the logs. Instead, the logs will only contain the message task timed out. Another method for troubleshooting is to change the SDK retry count and timeout settings. First, navigate to the Lambda function code. For this example, I'm using Python. Let's start by importing the necessary modules to our code. Now we can create our service client and set our SDK settings. We have three SDK settings that we can change. Max attempts, which is the retry count, read timeout, which is the socket timeout value, and connect timeout, which is the new connection timeout value. Configure these values to fit your use case. So now you know how to troubleshoot retry and timeout issues when invoking an AWS Lambda function using an AWS SDK. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.